In this video I shall define the natural logarithm as an integral using the fundamental theorem of calculus. While this indirect approach may at first seem strange, but it provides an elegant and rigorous way to obtain the key characteristics of logarithmic and exponential functions. So let's get deeper in it. The natural logarithm of a positive number x, written as ln x, is defined as an integral. I know this definition looks frustrating at first, but please don't get demotivated. Everything will be clear if you visualize this function 1 by t. Look! This is just the simple integral formula for finding the area under the red curve that start from x equals 1 to some positive integer variable. So, from the fundamental theorem of calculus, ln x is just the area under the curve of the function y equals 1 by t from t equals 1 to t equals x. Notice that we show the graph of y equals 1 by x in figure, but use y equals 1 by t in the integral. Using x for everything would have us writing with x meaning two different things. So we change the variable of integration to t, which acts like indicator of x. So do not get confused here. For any variable x that is less than 1 and greater than 0, then integrating gives the negative of this orange area. So ln x gives the negative of the area under the curve from x to 1. And the function is not defined for x less than or equal to 0. Also if we integrate from initial position 1 to final position 1, then ln 1 will be 0. So natural logarithm of 1 is always 0. This means the curve 1 by x has 0 area. Let us generate several values for ln x from 0 to 10. These all values are the area that start from 1 to any variable x. Now, do you know any value of x that gives the area of exactly one unit? There is an important number between x equals 2 and x equals 3 whose natural logarithm equals 1. Look! This important number is e. Interpreted geometrically, the number e corresponds to the point on the x-axis for which the area under the graph of y equals 1 by x and above the interval 1 to e equals the area of the unit square. This yellow graph has the area of exactly one unit square. So, ln e is always 1. In my next video, we will see that the number e can be calculated as a limit and has the numerical value e that approximates to 15 decimal places. Please subscribe for more calculus videos. It would help me a lot.